Hi everybody, it's Courtney and I'm going to do a 2015 book challenge for you all. Um, and so this is going to be filmed in like little segments after I finish the book so I can kind of give a really super duper quick synopsis um, of it. And um, so basically what this is, is a, like there's 50 different like book descriptions and it's like a book set during Christmas and a book by a female author, a book more than 500 pages, a book that's a classic romance, stuff like that. Um, and so far I've actually read three out of the 50, so you know, I'm really making a dent. Um, and so I was just going to go through those really quick while I was thinking about them. I still had them because a couple of them were library books. Um, so the first one is called Mistwood. And this is the book I read that was number 39, a book with magic in it. And it's by Leah Cypress. I don't think that's right. Um, and this book is actually really cool. It's about like set back in the time where there was like kings and queens. And it was like set in like kind of like medieval times. Um, and it's, it was really good. Like, I think I read this in, like, a day and a half. It was really good. Um, and the next one that I read was one, um, it's one with a one-word title, and it was this one called Fateful, which is by Claudia Gray. I'm really hoping I'm not blinding you, like, with these sh book covers that are shiny. Um, and this was set, like, back in Titanic times. They're actually on the Titanic in the book. Um, and it's kind of like a, they're like werewolves in it, which is why I liked it, because I'm about that life. But the ending was lacking, as most endings seem to be for me. But anyway. And also, the third one that I read was a book um, set in the future, and that is this book, which is called The Postmortals by Drew McGarry. Um, and it's actually really, this was something that my boyfriend let me borrow, um, and I didn't think I was going to like it <clears throat> all that much, um, but I actually, I loved it. I read it while I was waiting to come back from Tennessee, um, and it's about, they, uh, a scientist finds the cure for aging, um, so you get this shot that stops your, like, metabolism, or not metabolism, it, I don't know, it stops you from aging, and so... Like, everybody gets it, and the book is about what happens to the main character after he gets the cure, um, and, like, how the world turns kind of chaotic. Um, so it's, it was really interesting. I definitely would recommend this. Definitely would recommend. Hey, everyone, again. Um, so this is just continuing <clears throat> the book Fanciness, and I am apologizing in advance for the decibel of my voice and the gravelly, you know, really attractiveness of it because I'm sick. But the show must go on or something like that. Okay, so um, the ones that I've read in the last, I decided to do this in like five or six book segments because if I do it all 50 at once, this video will be a hundred million minutes long and nobody's got time for that. I don't, even, I don't know. Nobody does. Nobody does. Um, so this was the book that I read in one day, um, and I read it in 20, like, within the same 24-hour period. It wasn't, like, I sat down at 9 a.m. and finished it, like, at 9 p.m. Um, I started reading it, like, 9 p.m. and finished it by, like, 6 the next day, so I'm counting that as a day. Um, it's called The Boyfriend List by E. Lockhart, and this is actually a trilogy, I believe. There's at least three. There might be four. I couldn't tell you. It's super cute. It's about, um, like a teenager and she goes through all this like drama in high school and it's just, um, the author, it's just really cutely written and I was, I'm thoroughly entertained. So check that out. Um, and then a book that I read that's written, like set in a different country is Sold <clears throat> by Patricia McCormick. Um, and this is set, um, she starts out living in Nepal and then she ends up in India, so it's kind of cool. And basically what, uh, she's like, this little girl's like sold into like prostitution at like 13. And it's, it's just really good, like tearjerker. I loved it. I read it at the library and then I had to buy it and I'm re I reread it for all of you. 
Um, and then the graphic novel that I read, well, this is what I'm counting as my graphic novel, Death Note Volume 1, because reasons. Um, and I've had this for forever, and I just haven't read it, and honestly, now I'm watching the anime with my friend Brad, because reasons. And the artist, the storyline, and the art are by two different people, and their names are in Japanese, because this is a manga. And I'll just put those in the comment thing below so you can read it, because I'm not even going to try to say it. Um, but it's super interesting to me. Anyway, I'm into weird things, I guess. And, like, the god of death, like, drops an, his notebook, and they write human names in it, and then they die however you write it. And so this human boy named Light picks it up, and it's just, it's super fancy. And there's 13 of these? Fact check. Where's Brad? Ah, he's never around when I need him. Uh, I'll let y'all know in the comments. Um, yeah. So, yeah. And I'm going to put the entire list of, like, the books that I've already read and then the different, like, 50 descriptions if you guys want to read along or pick your own. And if you do it, uh, comment and let me know what you're reading because I'm totally interested. Or if you have a suggestion for a, like, category that I haven't read yet, go ahead and leave it in the comments because um, some of them I'm kind of stuck on. So any help would be fair. Um, Alright, I'm going to go now because this video is going to be longer than anticipated and my face hurts because I'm sick. So yeah, love everybody. And the next, um, when I read, I don't know, it's going to be five or six at a time probably just because this is what I had filmed. And they'll be posted in those segments so you don't have to watch an hour long video because like I said, anybody got time.